T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket design. Altitude now two miles. Taper pressure now tapering off as designed. The vehicle is lining, aligned itself with the planned trajectory. We passed Mach 1 and we're now passing Max Q. We have our Max Q system ID maneuver PTI engaged. Now passing Mach 2, vehicle now 10 miles altitude, downrange distance 8 miles and a velocity of 1,540 miles per hour. Plus 80 seconds, we've started our supersonic large amplitude ID maneuver PTI. We see the response. started the last PTI maneuver, structural mode ID, and we passed T plus 105 seconds. Vehicle's now traveling Mach 4, 20 miles altitude, downrange distance 32 miles. The uh, SRM tail off is observed. Burnout. Our APUs have shut down. CRDs have shut down. BDM fire. And SEP. We show a SEP and a tumble motor ignition. And we can also confirm on video. We see uh, both parts of the vehicle tumbling, the uh, first stage as well as the upper stage. Successful separation. Good clean signal all the way. T plus 150 seconds. We'll have a burnout orbit uh, parameter in just a second. These numbers were calculated right at burnout, the height of apogee, 21.92 nautical miles. And again, that's not peak altitude because the vehicle was still drifting up, but that is at burnout. Coming up on T plus 190 seconds. After vehicle separation, we have no guidance tele telemetry return. We're still looking at a good telemetry signal. And we can confirm the aeroshell, aeroshell separation. Our telemetry engineer, Mark Levine, making the telemetry calls, assisted by J.J. Joyner. Plus 235 seconds. 